So tough break for the five Emma Dawson March last Saturday night up at the off-road raceway in Norfolk, Nebraska. Uh, wrecked the primary car, which, of course, is the all-white car. Had to go to the backup, which is the old trusty red and white car, last Sunday night at the new Raceway Park uh, in Jefferson, South Dakota. Brought down the primary car again tonight. Unfortunately, was not able to make the call for the heat or the feature. So kind of an expensive trip. Hopefully, he can get the car fixed. But right now, we are green. Who is going to be the final two to punch their ticket to the A main? As it looks like it is going to be Evan Davis, the early advantage, with Cody Hillgardner sitting in second. And they are gapping third place Kyle Trout. It is Trout, Jones, Amber Cook, and Cool, Taylor Cool. Now here comes Buddy Ray Jones going to the whip and whipping hard. And he is sitting in third. Buddy Ray Jones in the third spot and going after Hillgartner, trying to track him down. He's a little lower on the racetrack off of turn number two as Hillgartner is in the runner-up and final transfer spot right now. Evan Davis showing the way in the 78, almost a three-car battle for the lead. Buddy Ray Jones now swings to the inside of Hillgartner in the 15 as he is, uh, he is going to try and see if he can get by Hillgartner. Gets a good run off the low side. Has it by about half a car length. Buddy Ray Jones, this is the battle for the final transfer spot in. Give it to Buddy Ray Jones. Sheriff Woody is in a transfer spot to tonight's A-Main with five to go. Jones, one of the sentimental favorites as he goes off a of turn number two on the bottom side of the racetrack, trying to track down Davis. He continues to show the way in the top groove. And he will continue to lead off of turn number four this time. Evan Davis is leading, but knock, knock. Sheriff Woody is right there on your back door as he is trying to take that, trying to take that Razor chassis underneath of the 78 right now. Again, Jones drives it in deep. He may have it. He may have it. No. D Davis able to hold him off one more time. As the caution comes out. Not seeing anything. Might be the Frenchman again. So we are halfway home, four down, four to go. It is Evan Davis, Buddy Ray Jones, the top two. They are looking their way in right now. Cody Hillgardner on the outside looking in. Here comes Taylor Cool. Taylor Cool now goes to the inside of Hillgardner. He is, she is trying to look for that third place spot, see if she can possibly get a top two finish. Coming all the way to us from Cave Creek, Arizona. But right now, Buddy Ray Jones trying to battle for the lead. Jones going after the lead. He will go to the bottom side once again underneath the 78. Powering around the top side of the racetrack is Davis. He will lead him once again. Still on the point down the back straightaway. Jones sticking to the bottom off three and four. Little bit of a bobble. He drifts up the racetrack. He takes the lead off of turn number four. Oh, Evan Davis into the outside wall. Uh-oh. Yeah, not sure what led to that, but a heavy damage on the 78 of Davis. And we got a big chunk of debris sitting there in turn four, but wow. But just as Buddy Ray Jones takes the lead, the man who had led from the drop of the green, Evan Davis, absolutely tries to knock down the wall. The wall is the wall. It is judge, jury, and unfortunately, executioner. So Buddy Ray Jones is going to lead Cody Hillgardner. Hillgardner, Cool, Trouts, and Cook with two laps to go. Buddy Ray Jones slinging it down into one or two as he puts it right up at the top of the group. Here it comes. We got a pass for second place as Taylor Cool comes all the way from Cave Creek, Arizona to get ready to try and punch her ticket into the A main. She now sits in second as Hillgardner is on the outside looking in. White flag for Jones into turn number one and two, the number two K car trying to track him down on the final lap. Taylor Cool comes off at of turn number two. 
and goes into three and four, going top shelf. No, it'll be Buddy Ray Jones, race to lose off turn number four, and he will get the checkered flag along with Taylor Cool into the feature event. Sheriff Woody, Buddy Ray Jones wins. B main number two punches his ticket into the A main and brings young lady Taylor Cool along to the show with him. So what a run, bad series of unfortunate events for Evan Davis. And uh, Cody Hillgardner, unfortunately, just got flat passed. So over the race receiver, Matt Stubbe telling the drivers that uh, next time out of four, we will be green. 25 laps, $1,000 to win. Your Carl Customs IMCA Sport Mods presented by the Buck Snort Restaurant. Who are y'all picking? Who's your horse? You better pick now because we're about ready to set them loose. Van Dyke, Reimers, two of the biggest hot shoes out there. We're dropping the green. It is going to be Van Dyke to the inside. He is going to take the early advantage. Cam Reimers to the outside there. Reimers now going to pull back side by side. And in fact, Reimers going to pull ahead of that edge chassis, number 13. Then you have the multi-time Super Nationals champ, Jonathan Lowe, sitting there in third. Throw a blanket over the runner-up position right now. Lowe to the inside, trying to go after Van Dyke for the second position. Down the back straight away, it's the 69 Junior into three and four, drifting up a little bit, but still nosing ahead and into the runner-up spot. And it's gonna be Cam Reimers with the lead, John Cloak now second. He's in. Oh, big bobble by a 13 of Van Dyke. He almost collects the 69 of Logue. Logue able to skirt away though. Now can Logue catch up to Cam Reimers? These two do battle every Saturday night. They're, they're going to put on a clinic here in Denison on a Friday night. Low getting away from Van Dyke as he drifts up the racetrack off the turn number two. And coming down the back straight away, it's Peterson that says thank you very much. A little bit of trouble for Parcel. He gets it going back in the right direction. Something definitely off on that edge chassis. Van Dyke Law Firm number 13 as he has dropped several spots back now. Right now is Parcel, who is about to get swallowed up by Cam Reimers. He is right in Reimers' line. Can Reimers get around the lap traffic of Parcel? Five down and 20 to go that time by. Reimers to the bottom now, and he will clear the lap car now of Parcel down the back straight away. Logue now will have to contend with that slower car. And he drifts up the racetrack trying to make a maneuver. It is still Cam Reimer's leader. Now it is Jonathan Logue who's hung up with the lap traffic of Parcel. Can he get by? No, not going to happen. Cam Reimer's now able to pull away even further because right now Logue is hung up behind lap traffic. And here comes the five car. Logue wants to get around him, but he can't quite get Parcel. Now he gets to the inside of the 27 down the back straightaway and gets by. But now it's almost half a straightaway lead for Reimers as Peterson is trying to get by the lap car as well. Devin Peterson going to the whip. He's putting that car like a running government plow Just trying to get by the 27. So he can try and get up there and play as he was making up ground on the 69 of Logue. Cam Reimers running an absolutely flawless race right now. Oh, and we got him around. Thomas Van Dyke goes around. On a scout and is collected. Oh, and this is going to be one that's going to take a little time to clean up. Thomas Van Dyke got loose. And unfortunately, on a scout and absolutely nowhere to go. They're already picking up parts and pieces. See who is going to take home $1,000 right now. 
the, the smart money would be on Cam Reimers, but you have Devin Peterson and Jonathan Logue also right there, right behind him. Let's also not count out Ari Scouten and Isaac Malakote. We're going to find out in 17 laps. Green flag is back out. We are racing. And again, it is going to be Reimers leading down into one with the 69 of Logue right there. But now Logan Danger losing second as here comes Peterson to the high side. Swinging a high wide around the outside. And we got another one around that is the 27 of Parcel. And looks like we have Jacques Debris out there. As we have uh, quite a bit of sheet metal bent body panels out there, Kimson, right there in uh, the racing line. And, uh, yeah, that's not good. That started on the front straightaway. Ed Hamilton was directly involved there. Not sure if that's off his car or not, but. You still have 17 laps to go, but don't forget, folks, we also have a time limit. We only have seven minutes left to go on the time limit. Time limit is one minute per lap plus an additional five minutes. We only have seven minutes to go. We are free. Reimers once again. Oh, Peterson, big contact between Devin Peterson and the 69 of Logue. And they're still trying to wreck. Unfortunately, the three of Lazina caught up in it. Buddy Ray Jones barely misses it. Wow. That started in one and two with contact between the, the Dylan Peterson, or sorry, Devin Peterson and the 69 junior of Jonathan Logue. And for all intents and purposes, Peterson should have looped that thing, what, three times, four times, Gibson? It was a pretty, pretty good piece of driving to not. I have to say this every year. I didn't think I'd have to say it this early, but apparently somebody decided that we're the ones that make the calls. We just say what we're told. We do not make the calls. Do not come up to the booth and start flapping gums. We're back to green. Cam Reimers in to one and two, and he's already got the field pretty well gapped as Gowner is trying to make a run down the back straightaway. Logue, after repairs, still in the runner-up spot, still nosing ahead of the 99 RE coming off of turn number four. Cam Reimer still leading. Jonathan Logue in second, the 99 RE of Ari Scout in third, but the battle is on for fourth and fifth. Between Vanderwall and Malakote, Vanderwall is gonna get by Malakote for that spot. Now Malakote trying to battle back to the inside. Meanwhile, we have a battle for second and third as Scout to the outside of the 69 Junior. Scout versus Logue, heading down in three and four. We've got quite the battle going on now, second, third, fourth, and fifth all together. Vanderwall all the way down to the inside, going after Logue now, as he just got by Malico momentarily. The 11 car trying to get back around him on the outside. They are right on the back bumper of the 69 Junior. Malico to the outside. Logue drifts up the racetrack, and Vanderwall will not quite get the podium off of turn number four. Cam Reimers has absolutely checked out, went home, and he's already got the car ready for next weekend as uh, he is pushing about a third of a track advantage. Right now, it looks like Vanderwall trying to get to the inside of Logue. That is for third and, oh, a contact! Logue and Vanderwall, Vanderwall gonna go around. Logue gonna lose several spots. Wow. Hot racing, cold drinks, and law enforcement in the pits. <laughs> what else could be better? <laughs> oh, my. So, Cam Reimers, once again, going to try and walk away with 12 laps to go. As Cody Hillgardner, flat right front on the 15 car. As uh, he is going to take it down, he'll be done for the night. But Cam Reimers 
Vander Heiden in second. Here comes the 37. Thomas Beal. Once again, Beal coming from 18. He is now sitting in third, Kempson. That is quite a battle. Beal up top off a of turn number four. Already on the podium, and he wants more. Ten to go this time. Reimer showing the way once again, and has gotten about a third of a straightaway, maybe half a straightaway. Lead now as the battle for the runner-up spot rages on behind him. Nine laps to go now. It is Cam Reimers, Brett Vanderheiden, Thomas Beal, Cody or Isaac Malakote, and the 93 of Hunter Longnecker, your top five. Corey Pistonic, something amiss with the 62. He calls no joy, pulls a pit side. He is done for now for the night as we keep taking laps off unfortunately buddy ray jones again the right front part of that hood coming up on that car he cannot be happy what a war of attrition this main event turned out to be beal finally gets the spot in second he's still top shelf going into one and two and now a yellow, 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 Jacques, probably for debris. Yes, Jacques brought it out again. All right, so from here on out, single file restarts only. Normally, uh, they would only do that if there was less than five laps to go, but because we're coming up on the time limit, now single file restarts. You know, I think you said it best, Kemp's in a war of attrition. Whoever wins this 1000 bucks, they're going to earn it by merely surviving to start with. And right now, like I said earlier, smart money is on that 21 of Cam Reimers as he has led from the drop of the green and pretty much any challenger he has walked away from. And he, you know, he survived so far. You got to think that he's sitting there and he, he has to know stuff's going on because... <laughs> He just gets up there, gets in his groove, caution. Gets going, gets in his groove, caution. Gets going, gets in his groove, caution. So he, I'm sure he's aware. <laughs> Green flag is back. Oh, and Hunter Longnecker, problems for the Woodward Wizard as he now slows down. Unfortunately, a piece of it was the three of Jim Blazina, but the Woodward Wizard now out of this race. The man sitting fifth. Right now, basically, unless you are the leader, Cam Reimers, a top five spot is not where you want to be tonight. The Crawford County Speedway Report on... Uh, AM 1530 and uh, 104.9, 105 The Hive, also known as Kimson Cross's employer. Green flag is out once again. Cam Reimers leading them down into one and two. Beal looking to go high, wide, and round the outside, see if he can do anything with Vander Heiden. Not going to happen this time. They're going to be coming out of... Okay, so apparently we're not doing the green-white checkered thing like uh, they were saying on the receiver. Okay, seven laps to go. Cam Reimer is going to come out of turn number four. F under the flag stand, five to go. He's going to go through one and two. Vander Heiden in second. Malakote, Malakote slide job right in front of Beal. Beal able to cross over, and he's going to get right back by Malakote. Now Malakote crosses back over one more time. This is the battle for three and four. 
as Malakote has it at the line. Down the back stretch into three and four. Two laps to go for Cam Reimers, who has already built up a huge advantage. I'm telling you, this guy just absolutely cannot be stopped tonight. He is going to head right on down the back stretch. And into three and four. White flag is out. Last lap of the night, Kimson. You got it. Cam Reimers, $1,000 richer. Brett Vanderheiden in second. Isaac Malakote, third. Thomas Beal in fourth. And Chris Burke going to round out your top five. Well, it took us a while to get there, but we got there. May have had more cautions than active cars by the end of that thing, but Reimers will take it however he can get it.